Okay guys, today we are going to be talking about the 75mm bowl head tripod versus the more traditional tripod. Okay, so yesterday I got this tripod and bowl head, uh, fluid head. Very nice tripod, but why would I get this when I already have a very nice tripod with also a fluid head? The reason is, for me, weight. Okay, um, this thing weighs a good uh, 15 pounds at least, possibly more. Bowl head tripods are, are very heavy compared to these type of tripods uh, in my experience. Uh, with this bowl head, the head is almost as much as the legs itself. Now, if I could just undo this screw, this thing is pretty heavy. This is a good at least 10 pounds. I mean, it's, it's hard to even hold it with one hand. You see how much big of a piece of metal is here? That's because of this bowl head 75 mount. This goes into this, which is a bowl shape. That's why they call it the bowl head. This goes into here like that. And I'll explain more why I would get something like that. With the more traditional tripod, you buy the. I bought the legs and the head separately. This is a uh, HDV700 or something by Manafrotto. Manafrotto is a very good tripod name. Um, this is how this one goes on. Very light. Three. I think this is uh, 3.2 pounds or something like that. Very light head. This goes on with this type of mount. I'm not sure what the um, screw mount actually is. It is quarter 20 possibly. That might be this type. I'm not really sure. But uh, I'll leave it in the description if I'm wrong. Um, so that just screws on right into there. Nothing hard about that. Right. So why would anyone want the 75 millimeter bowl mount over this when this is so much lighter. Well, the 75 millimeter bowl head tripod is good for this. If I have these legs all out of whack and this side, it's, it's like that. Like I'm recording a game or something, right? And I'm in the stands. I'm not gonna have each tripod leg to the same um, equal distance out, right? So it could be like this, okay? Well, maybe not to that extent. You want to have it semi. Maybe like that. Just, you know, one leg is out a little more than the other. Typical, you know. You don't want to adjust every leg to be the same height. Well, this is what the bowl, 75 millimeter bowl does. What you do, you see you can move the head around like this in a bowl shape, circular motion, and you can get it steady with the little dot. And then all I do is screw on the bottom part and I'm good to go where with this one I honestly I haven't used it yet but I don't think I can do that because I don't have the bowl head I'm gonna have to make sure that all my stuff is aligned uh, to this little center ball thing um, and it's gonna be a lot more adjustments than just turning this little thing all right but I was willing to take that risk with this just because I can't be lugging this thing around on um, movie shoots where you have to constantly move around and just music video stuff. Don't want to be carrying this thing around, especially if it's a multiple location shoot. I'd much rather just uh, take this little guy. It, uh, the head, as far as I know, is a little better at panning and tilting fluidly than this one. But then again, this whole tripod was like $120, $150 on Amazon. Whereas this uh, head was like 125 and these legs were like 135. So you get what you pay for, but then again, this is a Manafrotto legs and head, which is a very highly regarded name in tripods. So um, that's pretty much it. Bullhead, definite advantage if you're a sports shooter, like um, I do on some projects. I film uh, kids, uh, make them highlight videos for college. Definitely a good choice. If you're not moving around much on a shoot, this is the tripod to go with. Definitely this type of mount. 
but if you're more of a run and gun type shooter where you just need the tripod quickly and uh, want to get some nice shots also, this is the way to go because you'll have a little more time to um, do things, adjust it, and it's not going to be breaking your back. So that's really the only issues that I have with this one and this one, and that's the real differences. If it was up to me, I would do what I just have now. I have this one and I have this one. Both very good tripods, and I recommend them both. This is the Ravelli AVP Pro, AVTP tripod, and this is the Manafrotto 701 head with, I'm not sure what legs these are, but if you go on B&H, they are the most reviewed uh, Manafrotto legs. This has been Jake from Jake Tui Productions. Hope I helped.